This is tutorial 2-3 in the GIS Tutorial 1 book. We are on page 62. The title of the tutorial is Creating Custom Classes for a Map. So number one, open and save a copy of your last map document as tutorial 2-3. I have not closed it since the end of tutorial 2-2, so all I need to do is just go save it again. And this time I'm just going to change the number to three. Number two, in the table of contents, right click the U.S. counties layer. We want to go to properties. Click on the general tab. And we want to rename the layer. So here's the layer name and we're going to change this to vacant housing by county. Now we're going to go to the Symbology tab. We want to click the Classify button. This time we're going to have six classes instead of five. And we're going to select Manual for the Classification method. Now we're going to set our own breakpoints. And on uh, the break values box here, we want to click the second largest value, 6045. And we want to type in 96,000. And hit Enter. And working our way up, we want 48,000. Enter. 24,000. 12,000 and 6,000. So now our list of break values should match the ones on the top of page 63. Click on OK. In the label field of the Symbology tab, Change the first value to 6,000 or less. I didn't put a comma in there like we have with the other numbers, so let's put a comma in. And the last one we want to change to 96,001 or greater. So all you have to do is just click on them and type over what's there. Click on OK. Let's try that again. Now let's go to page 64. We'll skip over the your turn part. In the table of contents, right click vacant housing by county. We want to save this as a layer file right here. And we want to go to our same folder we've been using. I'll navigate to that. Okay, I'm at my GIS folder, which has the other maps I've already saved. But you notice we're not looking for map files this time. We are looking for layer files. And we're going to call this tutorial 2-3. And then we're going to save it. Now we're on the top of page 65. Click the Add Data button, browse through the data folder to the United States GDB, and we want to click on U.S. Counties and Add. U.S. Counties, Add. Click on Close. Now in the table of contents, right click the U.S. Counties layer, click Properties and the General tab.
and we're going to call this owner occupied by county so just type on top of the existing layer name then we're going to click on the symbology tab and what we want to do is we want to import the symbology that we just did a little bit ago so we're going to click the browse button here we want to go to our chapter 2 folder so I've navigated to my GIS folder and I have found the layer that we just created a minute ago I want to click on that click on add and then click on OK we want owner occupied as the field value this time instead of vacant and I hit the wrong one there I want owner occupied right there click on OK click on OK the map looks the same it has the same shades and um, the same breakpoints but we are in this case we are mapping a different item a different field from that layer number seven says drag the owner occupied by counter layer to the bottom and turn the vacant housing by county layer off so we're going to drag this down to the bottom we're going to turn this one off this this one should be on top now if we turn this hang on a second here while it's redrawing Now I'm going to turn this one off and right now with the vacant housing by county on top we see a lot of low values in the middle and some high values around the outside I'm going to turn this off and now what we see is the owner occupied by county that takes us to the bottom of page 65, and that's the end of tutorial 2-3.